Hello and welcome to PHP uh, this tutorial uh, part number two where we're making uh, a dynamic uh, web page. Okay so just to quickly refresh um, this is what we were doing I've just tidied this up a little bit just by center aligning it, changing the font weights, uh, line height and so on nothing that we haven't already done. Okay so what have we got to do next we've got to split this uh, website down into little bits and what we're going to split it down into is the header this picture here and then a different file for the nav bar a different file for the main content and a different file for the footer and the closing of the HTML and the main uh, wrapper div tag. Okay, so let's move over to here. Okay, and we come to index.php and the way we're going to split it down is we're going to split this down to one folder uh, with the header as well actually, like that. And then, uh, whoops, um, we're then going to split down uh, Sorry, I made a mistake a minute ago, so I had to re resave the file. Um, okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to split this uh, header and the top of the wrapper and all the HTML information down to one. So let's make a new file and come here. And all we're going to do is paste it into that, and we're going to save it and say header.html. So come to include and save it there. Okay, and then we want to make another new file, and we'll just delete all that and what we're going to do is we're going to um, basically just put the nav bar there so we copy it and we'll just place the nav bar there I'm going to close it and I'm going to call it navbar.html and put this in the includes folder there we go and then come back to here and then we've got the main body which um, we're going to leave, leave for now because that's the one that we're going to be changing all the time and then the footer and the closing part of the the file what we're going to do so we make that HTML here put it in there and save it as the footer.html and bang that in the includes okay so now we've got the header the nav bar and the footer well like I said we've got the main body well the main body is going to change all the time um, so we have to have different files for it so there's no point uh, making making one now so what we need to do really is to have um, make a few more fold make a few more files and what we need is the uh, the home .html. It's going to be the main um, start page. So we place that in there. And then what we need now is another one. And we're just going to do two out of the five. And we're going to say a design uh, .html. So let's place this in the includes and so on. So now we've got home and design. And let's just scrap all this here and scrap all this because we don't need it. We just need two blank. Um, elements here okay so what we need though is this div div here in both of them okay just like that so we control us to save that and just copy this and place it in the design because we want to make sure that we have the same div um, basically that we're putting everything inside okay let's just zoom in slightly to this okay so now um, because our index.php um, is still an HTML page. Well, we don't need we don't need this anymore. So we can basically just um, delete all of it. And what we need to do is just open up some PHP tags. And what we use is the include function. And what we're going to include is with inside the includes folder, we're going to include first of all the header.html. And we're just going to copy this and use it another couple of times. Okay, next what we want to do is include the nav bar because that was next because the HTML all needs to go together. And next we're going to have the home.html and next we're going to have the footer.html. Okay, so control is to save and it doesn't look like a website here, but if we come back to here and refresh, it still is a website because it's including the header, the nav bar and the, the home.html at the moment and the footer so it still makes a website and we come to the source code and you see it still makes a website alright okay so what do we need to do next to be able to change uh, the pages dynamically well if we put in the home and put in here let's put home page for some text and put in here put design page for some text control us to save and now we come to our index.php what we're going to use is an if statement and we're basically going to say if get uh, page and I'll explain this in a second is equal to um, design 
Yeah. Then what we want to do is we want to include the design dot html. Else we're going to include the home dot html. Yeah. Okay. Actually, just spot an error. We need to put um, a small d on here because it's case and um, sensitive. So if we control S to save on here now and come to the website and refresh. Now we started at index.php. Now our if statement said if um, page is equal to design then include the design.html. Well it's not equal to design so it's going to have the home page. Now if we click on design then it changes to design page as you can see up here and gallery goes back to home because it's not equal to design and contacts and about and so on. We come back to home and design it changes. Okay so now what we can do is basically um, make an else if statement for the gallery contacts and about page. So we just open this up and we say uh, whoops, else if and let's just copy all of this here else if page equals gallery then we just include gallery.html okay well let's make a gallery.html first shall we let's save this save that there come to here copy that and put design.html control us to save come here refresh okay and click gallery now we have gallery page that's how easy it is to make a dynamic website basically is you just want to make any content you only need to change one element of it you already have a navigation bar you already have the header and the footer and you only have to make the new text inside so let's make it show how even easier it is make a new file come to this copy this here Okay, and make a contact page here, control S to save, save a new page now, contact.html and then basically what we need to do is add a page in the index so we just copy this and then we just put in here contacts and then copy this and put it to there, control S to save and refresh and now we come to gallery it says gallery design says design contact says contact and about goes to home because it's not there so let's make uh, an about page so else if and we say about and come here and about all we have to do now is make the about page so let's copy this paste it in here make about page, control us to save, come in here, about.html and then come back to here and refresh. Now we have the about page, you see? So you've got contact, gallery, design and home and everything stays the same all the time. So that's basically um, this tutorial done. It's nice and easy and um, yeah, it's a dynamic uh, website basically. Um, with um, never having to change the, the nav bar, um, that's, that's it. Well, my name uh, is David Thorne, I'm from www.thornwebdesign.de. Please subscribe to me um, because the more people that subscribe, uh, the more tutorials that I can do. Um, or just, um, just send me an email and if you want to ask me any questions, I will answer it. If you've got any ideas for new tutorials, uh, let me know and I'll try and get them done as quickly as possible. Thanks, for my, thanks very much for listening and goodbye.